Hey, Shalom. All praises to you. How about Shem? Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Hey, much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. Um, all you brothers that believe, all you guys, um, all you brothers and all you guys coming out of these groups in these last days, it's a beautiful um, time. May the Lord have mercy on you. Um, when you deal with the new covenant and you deal with Yahweh Shai, this is what a mercy is. This is what the Lord meant when he said that they omit the heavier matters of the law. So there's no mercy or no faith without the new covenant. So if you don't believe in the new covenant, basically you don't believe in God. And this is what, um, this is the real understanding because basically if you're not in the Lord's covenant, you're not in the spirit. You don't have any grace. It, 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 it's just as simple as that. It's just as simple as that. Now, you, you can go out to the highways and teach prophecies and yell at Esau all day. That don't mean anything. If you're not gathering men unto Yahweh Shai, getting them to the door of Yahweh Shai, like the, the Lord said, he is the door, not no fucking camps, then you're out there in vain on these streets with your garments and shit. That's what the Lord meant when he said, beware those those men out there in, in garments. The new covenant is has been spiritually packaged in a way that is not for the world. It's only for a few that if, you, if you're of the world, you're just going to reject it because everybody else is against it. But what's so heavier than that is that the, the powers that be of this world, they knew that the teaching of the Lord was going to come in the last day. So by guys rejecting it, you know that they're not of the Lord at all because they're actually rejecting the son of power. And now all we're doing is teaching uh, the Lord and, and his agreement. That's all we're doing. We're teaching the Bible. Everything it says, everything we're saying. What's not in there is what all these camps and groups and these organizations are saying. They're adding shit. And a lot of these guys are cursed. They're eternally damned forever. They're forever damned. Just like you have certain brothers. We know the Lord forever. A lot of guys are eternally damned and they were sent back in this time for their judgment. So you have to separate from wide gates and, and, and uh, wide paths and walk a narrow road with Yahweh Shai. Now, the Lord tells you in. Matter of fact, let me grab this real quick. What the Lord said. Because a lot of you guys, when you say you need new bodies, right? That's when guys make up that that heresy. I remember years ago, guys were saying that the elect is sealed. The, the elect could never be sealed without the teaching of the new covenant. <laughs> now the elect is almost sealed. I seen something. Um, I seen something. Um, the elect could be sealed now. Because guys are coming out of groups and they're understanding that you're not going to be, the elect can never be sealed without the teaching of the new covenant. So they've been teaching heresies and lies, man, just lies and lies. And I've seen uh, some shit about some guy they, they kicked out. A lot of guys are coming out of these groups. And a lot of you guys that, that can't see, you're just carnal brutes, man. You're just carnal brutes on the fucking street. <clears throat> so... Like I said, so one of the things is too, uh, what did the Lord say? Let's see what did the Lord say. Uh, Luke chapter 17. And 20. It says, and when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God should come, he answered them and said... The kingdom of power cometh not with observation. The kingdom of power cometh not with observation. So the kingdom of God is, is you're not going to see anything. You're not going to see no new bodies. You ain't going to see shit but destruction. So this is another way that we could we could see that guys are just carnal. And they're taking the scriptures out of context and you have to, we have to have the immortal bodies and Paul and them back in them times. What made Paul and them um, uh, uh, 
eternal and what would you say immortal is the righteousness of Yahweh Shai. You cannot change your body without changing your fucking mind. So the, the kingdom of heaven, it don't come with observation, man. <laughs> You're not going to see nothing. That's why the Lord said a, a, a wicked generation, they have to see something because nobody has faith. So this is what's really heavy too in this time. You could all everybody that's like pushing that type of shit is just that they're carnal. It says the kingdom of, of power comes not with observation, neither say neither they say low here or low there. For the kingdom of power is within you. You see? So basically. Um, guys are desiring to see something, but you're not going to see a goddamn thing. So, the observation, the kingdom of heaven is within a few men. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven is within a few. It's not for everybody. They gave you a alternative. Uh, they gave you a a a a. Uh, 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 a false mystery that's really not the mystery but they gave you they, they made you think the mysteries was Esau and the EU and all that shit but the true mystery is that the new uh, the new mind the mind of Yahweh Shai the new heart you know all those things that's pertaining to are written within the ones who the Lord chose they, they're not written in everybody that's why everybody is against it because they can't understand it their minds don't go that far they don't have faith like that you see what i'm saying they're they're of the old they're carnal they they like the old wine better the new wine of the new covenant is for the new minds of yahweh shai which have the hearts a lot of you guys you don't have hearts you're of the old stony hearty even your fucking your elderly elders told you that shit too it's just that when you're wrong, you're wrong. You have to, Yahweh Shai, the, the, the old law of Moses, that does not have any type of spirit in it. That is dead. And one of the brothers left a beautiful, he always lived in beautiful scriptures, but he said basically guys in these camps, their elders got them worshiping the dead, and that's true. You got literally got you worshiping them old dead sacrificial laws of Moses, man. You guys are worshiping the dead in these camps. Trying to tell everybody the missiles is coming. And you're going to die with it. It's crazy as hell. Luke chapter 5 and 36. And he spake also a parable unto them. And this is for you guys because it's like what we're teaching is not for you guys. You're, you're so very much against it because you're of the world. You're going to die with this world. So. What we see is guys literally fighting for this world when they teach a, when they teach about new bodies and they teach about they need to, to see something or oh I don't see it. Well the kingdom of heaven don't come with observation. That's another fucking cut for you guys. That's why guys don't go in the gospels. Guys are teaching all this shit, but it's like they're not really going in the gospels at all. Because when you go in the gospel, you have to push repentance like the Lord. So all these false prophets in these camps, man, all you fucking brute carnal motherfuckers in these videos, bro, you guys don't look too good at all. But it's beautiful what's happening because the Lord warned us in Mark 12. He said, beware of men that like to be seen in garments. And you motherfuckers like to be seen even though you look dead than a motherfucker. So guys are actually worshiping the dead. They don't even they don't even listen to Moses, bro. They're listening to these dead fucking elders. They're dead just like their ass. This is Luke 5 and 36. And he spake also a parable unto them. No man put of a piece of new garment upon, it says, upon an old. If otherwise, both the new maketh of rent and the piece that is taken out of the new agreeeth not with the old. That's right. So the new covenant, we don't agree with the, the we don't agree, the, the new covenant it's not of Moses. It don't have nothing to do with Moses and the old law. And the old law, guys that are of the flesh, they can't agree with the new covenant. It says, in the, and it says, uh,
Um, Luke 5 and 37. And, a, and no man put of new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and will be spilled in the bottles shall perish. Right, so this new wine cannot go into none of you carnal motherfuckers. It, it will burst. And that's what we're seeing in these times. The, the new covenant is not for you old bottles of the old law of Moses. Your heart still has that veil on it. You're unable to understand the new covenant because it's not for you. And this is this is what the new law is about. It's only compatible with the ones that are chosen. So the world is going to be against it, man. It, this is very heavy, man. Let me read this again. It says, no man put up a piece of a new garment upon the old. Right. So like if you're of the old, the new cannot be put up on you. You can't you cannot. The, the 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 new way of the new covenant is totally spiritual. That's why all these guys have to see bodies. They have to see lambs. They have to gather together in these rooms with about 30 to 100 motherfuckers. Keeping these old Passovers where you can see the lamb. It's heavy, bro. And that's against the order of the Lord. When the Lord gave the Last Supper in Matthew's, they didn't have no lamb. And that is heavy to understand that because the 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 lamb that the only lamb you're consuming after that point was your how was shy. So for guys trying to keep you in the old, there's still enough flesh. You know, ain't nothing wrong with remembering what we used to celebrate. But what guys are doing, they're making that as that that you're supposed to do that. And you're not supposed to do that. So it's really heavy. It says, if otherwise, then both the new make of a rent and the piece that was taken out of the new agree of not with the old. That's why these guys don't agree with the new covenant, because they're of the old. It says, and no man put a new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will break, will burst the bottles. Right. Guys are not able to maintain this new covenant. It wasn't meant for them. It says, and be spilled and the bottles shall perish. But new wine must be put into new bottles. Both are preserved. No man having also, it says, no man also having drunk old wine straightway desired the new. For he saith the old is better. Right. So guys love the old Passover. Guys like the old covenant. Even though Moses told you not to follow that shit no more. So. These old bottles, they're going to perish, but the ones that are of the new, they're going to be preserved. You see? So if you're going to be preserved, what does the Lord have to do? He has to take you out of camps, come out of him. You see, you can't be around the many. And I've, I've seen a couple videos. They're kicking guys out of these camps because a lot of guys are, are, are figuring out. Talking about some take your title off our take your, that title off your name. <laughs> you guys are worldly motherfuckers, man. You guys are of the world. That's why it's so beautiful that you guys are being exposed that you're of the world. It's heavy, bro. So what's heavy is if you have a spiritual eye, if you're a part of these fucking camps and these groups, you're identified as a fucking devil and you're against God. These camps and these groups are against God. So it's a good thing guys are coming out these groups taking fucking titles out of their name. These fucking weak ass guys in these fucking uh, camps, man. Trying to hold, trying to lord over the, the flock. And all these weak ass guys dying these old bottles. These fucking old bottles, man. The Lord said, I in you and you in me. This is what the Lord said. That is the Lord in you. The Lord became the law. He said he didn't come to destroy the law, but fulfill. So the Lord became the law. That is the law written in you. Yahweh Shai written in you, dumbasses. He is crazy. Hebrews 9 and 12, it says, For the blood of bulls and goats and the ashes of an heifer, heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctified and purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of the anointed, who through the eternal spirit, Offer himself without spot unto power. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living power. 
So guys, they're still holding these dead works. And that's why these guys were set up to keep you worshiping those dead Passovers over and over and over and over and over. It ain't going to never stop until now. The new covenant is being taught. They, and like I said, they used to tell you that the elect is sealed already. That's that's another lie. And these guys, they love their place in the world so much. They're going to die to keep their place in the world rather than telling man to repent. Guys are living literally just to keep a place in the world. That's how so carnal guys are, man. It's heavy. So, yeah, I was shy. The blood of Yahweh was offered and he became that eternal atonement for the election. Understand that a eternal atonement. That means that you're atoned for forever. Those that know Yahweh and if you knew Yahweh you wouldn't be saying put him off to later. That just means that the Lord is not in you, man. You're you're of the world. You're part of those wicked scribes and those Pharisees that wanted to uh, the stone the Lord to death. Um, Hebrews 9 and 15 Hebrews is a, a very beautiful and critical book too It just brings everything together And you had these other groups Talking about the book of Hebrews is It's not a part of the Bible When guys say things ain't a part of the Bible And they say this and they say that You better go into it and, and look at it for yourself <laughs> It's crazy man Shh. Hebrews is very Hebrews exposes you guys on a on a on another level. The Lord are, are already broke it down and told you that it ain't given unto you guys. And Hebrews just goes over it more. It says Hebrews 9 and 15. For this cause he is a mediator of the New Testament. That means of death for the redemption of the transgression that under the first testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. They which are called they which are called they which are called might receive the promise of eternal uh inheritance they this ain't talking about everybody the new covenant ain't for everybody what's for everybody the world the camps being seen you know it's heavy in this time it says for a testament is it says for where a testament is it says, for where a testament is, there must also of the necessity be the death of the testator. For a testament is a force after men are dead. So what guys are doing, they're, they're uh, denying the force. They're denying the Lord, bro. This is plain right here. The new heart and the new mind is for the election that were predestined. That received the perfection back in those times. To understand the heart and the Lord being in you, just go back to well, how Paul and them was speaking. Go back to Stephen, how they were speaking. Go back to how uh, Peter and them. That was a depiction of Yahweh Shai being in them. So by how Peter and Paul and them, they were teaching back in the top book of Acts and what they were doing, that was to let you know that that was how it would be when the laws will be in you, when you have a shy to be in you. It says, for a testament is a force after men are dead. Otherwise, it is of no strength at all while the testator liveth. This is why the Lord had to die. So the blood of Yahweh Shai, the blood of bulls and, and, and animals is not being accepted. So it's the same thing for Yahweh Shai. He became an eternal atonement. For those ones that were of the promise of the elect man. So it is very heavy that guys are teaching uh, men to be against the covenant. It is heavy in these times. So what that means in these times that, man, we're in a time where there are so many fucking black devils. The, the, the. Our own people, you have to worry about them more than you have to worry about these these devils, because they're the devils that the Lord was speaking of in John eight. They're the ones that that the Jews sought to put the Lord to death. You have to understand this, because what these groups have set up to do is to make Esau the scapegoat, and the ones you have to look out for is our people. Romans five and ten it says, "For if when we were enemies we were reconciled." to power by the death of his son so 
the Lord dying is a big deal. So for guys to um, to be denying that and saying it ain't here yet, man, that's being a false witness. Um, you're being uh, and you're being your false prophets, your false brethren. So, yeah, you're a false witness, too. They all go together. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It don't matter what you guys are teaching on the street. You're, there's no salvation for you guys. You guys are directly against the power. And you stupid ass guys, you like to be seen so much and you like to be recognized and, and ask it so much. You're going to throw away salvation just to ask kiss these false prophets in these camps and these false elders. Remember the elders and the chief priests put the Lord to death. All right. And you guys double honor these guys. Words in the scripture, the Lord got double honors. It ain't in there. So we're dealing with a bunch of false prophets that have crept in on the word that they didn't understand that the elect were going to have the Lord written in them in these days. And this is something everybody can't handle. They can't they can't receive that because first of all, of all guys are carnal. So really us explaining the new covenant, this new wine can't go in them. They can they are unable to understand a new covenant. This that new wine. <laughs> Romans 5 and 10, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled unto power by the death of his son. Look at that. You can't deny that. That happened already. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. That's why the Lord said, if you come in by him, you're saved. Not no fucking group. It says, not only so but we also joy in the power through our lord yahushua mashiach by whom we have now received the atonement so the new atonement and the and the the passover was the passover is every day when you're in yahushua it's eternal this is high level stuff it's not for a carnal mind that's why carnal minds is enmity with with the power so the Lord said the kingdom of heaven, it don't come with observation. It's nothing you're going to see. First Corinthians 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. Right. So us over here, when you come over here and you listen to the, the, the few brothers that are teaching sincere in the new covenant, we don't give you a spirit of the world. We don't. But the spirit, which is a power. That we might know the things which are freely given to us of power. What was freely given unto us? The, the covenant, a new heart, a new mind. With compassion. Which a lot of guys don't have because they're not of God. Which the things we also speak, not in the words of men's wisdom. That's in the world of groups and shit. But which the Holy Ghost teaches, teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Right. And what's heavy is that. If you're of this world, you're going to directly be against the covenant. You're going to directly be against God because you're programmed to be against God. It don't matter how much knowledge you know of prophecies. If, if you are not teaching men to repent unto the power, you're of the fucking world. All you fucking rejects, man, in these fucking camps. And it's good guys are coming out of these camps and getting kicked out. Because this is what has to happen so the elect can be sealed. As soon as the elect are sealed, and the elect are being sealed, it's going to be judgment. Just like the cities, when Lot went out of Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened to those cities? The Lord rained down on them. So the elect have to come out of these camps so the Lord can rain down judgment on the rest of you goddamn clowns, false prophets in these camps. But with that, man, let me get out of here. It's a beautiful time. Um, the new covenant started back over 3000 years ago and we're back in this in these times helping men remember who they are and that is a beautiful thing and only how you can teach the new covenant is if you're if you're really of it that's only how you're really going to understand it oh let me because a lot of guys they say they're teaching but a lot of guys don't really have the understanding of it so it's a beautiful time in these times for us to wake up and figure out that we actually have the heart and the mind of power and with that, hey, uh, I'll speak to you brothers a little bit later. With that, repent, hey, shalom.